Hello there. Right. I'm doing this video. This is an early... I'm not very good at all this sort of thing. But basically it's just a video. Somebody posted a request on one of my first videos that I made for YouTube. And um, they wanted me to put one of these back together. Showing, showing you a bit more detail. So, this this one here has all been dismantled. I've I'm just I've just knocked it together just to show you like you know it hasn't been it hasn't even been painted yet. So I mean there's a lot of work got to be done on this. I'm just sat here now. I'm just doing a few other bits and pieces because the weather out the weather outside is well waste of time. It's raining. I can't spray anything. Can't do nothing. So I've got a few bits through from the model place. I've got a roof for an Aston Martin, so I'm just sat here ready. I'm just doing a few odd little bits and pieces, just to keep myself busy, really. But in in the next video, I should be showing you step by step how to put one of these Batmobiles back together properly. Right, basically, these are the pieces. These are all your pieces now. I've, I've actually took it apart what I showed you earlier in the first video there's your top there's your base plate make sure they fit nicely before you start spraying anything up because once it's sprayed up you can't well you can't mess around with it really it's got to fit together perfectly because you're going to mess the paint job up what you do on it so always make sure before you spray anything when you're putting something back together, you've got to make sure it all fits nice and snug, no gaps, nice tight fit all the way around. And as you can see, this one, perfect, all the way around. So anyway, that's that piece. Make sure you've got all your parts. Cage, drilled out, as you can see there, all drilled out, ready for rivets, cleaned up ready to go in when you've got to put it back together there's your wheels make sure they're all painted up nicely new tires put them down there seating all repaired there was one that piece there this this piece was a bit dodgy I repaired that obviously your Batman and your Robin, all tidied up, painted up. I mean, sometimes you don't need to paint them up; you just clean them, and they look they look better actually if they're you know more original looking. But I mean, I've I've used it near enough near enough the same colour, the exact same shades to get these looking like new, and they're both original figures; they're not reproductions. Obviously, your, your dashboard and your steering wheel. When putting these back together, it's a good idea, really, because it, it's a fiddly little job putting these back. This, the steering column, just put a little dab of glue, just there, just to hold it. So when you put it back in the car, it's not moving around, and it's a lot simpler. And you got obviously you've got all your other bits for your firing, for your chain cutter at the front, your springs. Make sure you got all them new aerial make sure the exhaust is all nicely polished up I mean, that looks new now it was grubby as hell before new screen these are from Australia they're the best screens you can get you cannot beat these the clarity of them they're pin sharp you cannot beat them a mate of mine in Australia does these and they are well I'll never go anywhere else from a lot of the screens you buy, they're all cloudy, misty, too dark, too light. But these, you can't beat these. If you want to do a good job, use these. And obviously, you, there's your chain cutter, he's all nice and shiny. Wheel cleaned up, all these bits have been cleaned up. I've used chrome spray for this um, thing, and as you can see, it's um, the exhaust. Or rocket fire, in it? Yeah, it's a rocket launcher, in it? That's come out alright with chrome paint. You don't need to keep buying them and buying them. They, they, 
the price of them are ridiculous. So if you can, try and use the original parts. Anyway, that's about all for now. I mean, the next stage now would be the actual respray. And I will show you that very soon. Goodbye for now.